Welcome you Aries, this is your weekly reading for the third week of May. Let's see what's going on for you Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Sun. What's going on for you Aries? Okay, Aries for the third week of May. Okay, for Aries. What's happening to the Aries in this week? What is happening to the Aries in this week, you Aries? What's happening to you guys? Okay. Alrighty, you Aries. Let's see what's happening to the Aries and the Moon Rising Sun. Okay. I want to say to each and every person, thank you for returning. Thank you for the wonderful positive energy vibration um you aries are having complex <coughs> okay um the four of one six of cups in reverse family situation people around you there's a lot of force that is happening for you aries so the angels are around the king of swords is here whoever this king of swords is and the moon secrets about the lovers secrets about the lovers is coming out you aries so what's happening Alrighty. so what we're seeing is that some of you some secrets about um your partner could be coming out some of you are definitely in conflicts trying to balance salts and bring stability to your world. But the King of Swords is here, whoever this King of Swords is. So what's happening to the Aries with the Four of Swords? You're dealing with the King of Pentacles. Whoever this King of Pentacles is and whoever this person is. Um, this person could be, bring you some um, stable foundation. Um, whoever this person is, they're going to be bringing some balance around you so um you could be married to this person um and the king of wands so whoever these people are they could be you could have to be dealing with them but you have a strong foundation against them whatever they are doing so it could be um father grandfather father figure um this could be people who have been using you to do something but you have a strong foundation against them whatever the situation that is coming up you definitely have a strong foundation against them um some of you are dealing with the queen of wands whoever this person is you have a very strong foundation this queen of wands and this um there's a queen of wands but there's also um a taurus virgo or a capricorn so you have you you aquarians are dealing it could be your husband and uh, um the, the foundation that you guys have um, it's a little bit, it can be rocky for some of you because of some indecision that is going on. So let's see what else is going to be coming out because obviously there's a family situation because the Six of Cups is in reverse. So some of you, if you're married to a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn, you're in a relationship with a Taurus, Virgo or a Capricorn, there is a situation with the, the stability and foundation around you. Then we have the energy of the nine of pentacles that is coming up with the family and it's all about money whatever the conflicts is is about money okay so it could be that you and your partner is not seen eye to eye um to financial stability but there's still hope to resolve the situation whatever it is there is still hope to resolve the situation and i think some of you should listen to your partner because he's trying to say yeah it is your fault whatever is transpiring with the family it is all your fault because you should not have take the money or you should try and pay back the money but there is a situation that is coming up that you know definitely this person is saying to you hey um it is it is a situation where you need um to bring um stability into your world because what is transpiring is that it's because of you while there is such a financial imbalance so there is definitely conflicts and it has to do with a project okay so some of you are working on a project and there seems to be conflict but this project is going to bring really um you know a fruitable award but some of you could be walking away and turning your back on this project for whatever the situation is it's as if you decide to look for better grounds or something new to do and you know the universe what is saying because the energy of the 
um, you know, have hope with what you're doing because it's going to be turning out good. But it's as if you want to give up on it now and they're saying, you know, just hold on and have some faith that it's going to be working out. Now, the Four of Pentacles is here. So there is definitely um, people around you that is that there are so gossipy and it could be you and there is just so much gossip and conflict so obviously you um aries are having some um conflicts because of some gossip that is going on and it could be you who are gossip and it could be other people around you the king of swords is here so some of you could be dealing with this aries leo or um, aquarius gemini or libra person this person there is just some really um in, there is really some of you are dealing with a man that is an Aquarius Gemini or Libra and there is some regrets because there is a, um, whatever is plain there is really um, like a nasty little play that is happening a nasty little play that is happening okay and it can have to do with a legal issue or it can have to do with that you're married or in relationship with this person and you're really having some regrets regrets um, connecting with this person secrets are definitely going to be coming out mm-hmm mm-hmm mm -hmm. there is definitely some secrets going to be coming out and you're gonna be successful um, it, it's not really success it's more that secrets are going to be coming out whatever is transpiring there is going to be secrets coming out whatever that is happening around you definitely some secrets is coming out the energy of the moon is here but there is a strong foundation because whatever the secrets is and whatever is coming out you're standing firm and um, there is going to be balance um, in your life okay the energy of the lover is here let's see what's happening with the energy of the lover um, definitely um, you could be dealing with someone there could be divorce going on um, some of you could be separating there's definitely separation that is going on and uh, some of you are thinking about to, to leave this situation that this situation doesn't serve you anymore and you want to leave this situation now there is so many force so you have um, whatever is happening you're dealing with and you know you men especially you men are dealing with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn okay and whatever is transpiring happening it is as if you're holding these people and these situation at base now there is you men um there is a situation with, with 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 money and it's as if you have to pay some money you men 45 years and older okay there is so much conflicts that is going in and uh, going on in our organization there is there is so many conflicts that it is normal what is going on in, in and there is the energy of a devil energy where there is uh, some of you are dealing with uh, an Aquarius Gemini or Libra person and there is some regrets you have some regrets dealing with this person for whatever reason it is and whatever that is transpiring and whatever that is happening you're definitely um, cutting and, and and turning your back some of you definitely who are in relationship you could be deciding to leave this relationship for whatever the reason is you're definitely deciding to leave with this relationship because it's as if um, this person doesn't fulfill you it's not what you're looking for and the person doesn't fulfill you and you're thinking I don't want to be in this I just need my time off I just want to be with myself I want to balance out myself and I just want to be with myself okay so definitely um, you choose just to be with yourself and not to move forward with a relationship for whatever reason it is so what is the organization and the lovers and the eight of cups is that <laughs> is some of you want to leave and 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 some of you uh, uh, some of you want to leave but some of you are are 
this person wants to be a part of your life and some of you would really wants to leave but some of you uh, it's as if this person is holding on to you because they want to be a part of your life and you're thinking no I, I, I this is not what I want you know this 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 is this is um and it's as if this organization wants to give you something because they're seeing something good in you and they want to offer you something but you're thinking about leaving okay so what is happening with this uh, Aquarian Gemini or Libra purse which is a devil and some regrets about some money so some of you are dealing with an Aquarius Gemini or Libra whoever these people are there is definitely a situation that is coming up about money okay there is a lot of conflicts the conflicts is huge it's as if this conflicts has been going on for quite some time I hope you guys have been seeing it because it's as if this conflicts whatever is going on it's as if it has been going on like for quite some times whatever is happening and it's about money and it's about people and situation and there's so much people getting involved and whatever had happened and you're like oh my god I gotta back away I gotta back away because this isn't helping very much so it's as if you decide to 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 just back away and just let the pieces fall and it is one of the best things to do in this period because some of you is like too much things it's like an overwhelm of things that is coming up just too much things is coming up and you're backing away and standing away okay so we're calling up on unicorns to see what is coming up um there is a lot some of you are working on the project and some of you want to turn your back on it and you know curiosity is what comes up for you this week is really a week of curiosity stay or start a project relating to something you are curious about okay so if you guys are curious about something start the project because that is going to help you whatever is happening is that love is the only answer in this situation it's as if love is definitely the only answer in this situation it's as if um you're seeing that love is definitely the answer there's definitely an organization that some of you love is only the only answer to a situation okay all right so we have the uh, the situation of positive thoughts create positive result divine love and wisdom i call upon you i know that my mind and my emotions are eternal and continuously connected to you I ask my eye self to be aware and to be conscious of the love and light that is in within each and every person okay so it is really a week where you guys and it's as if they're saying you know it is positive thoughts create positive feelings okay so it's as if some of you have to really find a positivity in a situation to push forward through and you men there is whatever the situation is is that you men are having financial situation that is coming up and you men 45 years and older there's a lot of conflicts about money um between three persons there's a lot of conflicts um with money about three persons and i'm seeing some of you um as a um, create uh, such an environment that the family member are just close everyone off because of some financial situation and it's as if you are the one that have created this financial situation and they're saying you know you should pay up it is it is you know you you are the one that you know let this person is no longer connected with the family and you need to pay up and you know it, it, it is true it is true what is happening and you have every situation on your plate because of a situation where you have let either your kid or yourself took some money and because you have borrow some money from a family member took some money from a family member it has created a huge 
huge um, situation in the family. And now um, people are telling you, you know, it is your fault and you need to pay the money up. It is your fault and you need to pay the money up. And um, whatever it is, um, listen, um, you need to find out and you need to really look at yourself with the situation which is going on because your family members are not very happy at this time. And your husband got caught up in the whole situation. Your husband got caught up in the whole situation. And now the rest of the family is getting caught up in the situation because you have um, acts or borrow some money from a family member. And um, this is what created a huge family conflict. Okay. So I want to say namaste until next time.